Hi, Rabbit here. Uh, as you know me as Tammy Monahan. Today I'm going to do what they call a CB radio interview, but I'm going to do it right here with my husband and I'm going to show you around our truck. So right now I introduce you to my husband, Adam, aka Scarecrow. Adam, what kind of truck are you driving? Freeliner 2021. And what do our grandchildren call it? They call it the Big Red Tomato. <laughs> It's red. It's really red, and like our granddaughter, she likes these things called tomatoes. I don't know what her problem is with them. But... <clears throat> and, um, and who do you drive for? Crawford Trucking. And what's your favorite thing about being on the road? I can't wait for my kids. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> my kids are all grown up, so how can I say that? Uh, I get to see the country with my wife, that person that's holding the phone over there, Rabbit. Um... We did see the country like I wanted. Never got a chance to really see it. Mom and Dad, we didn't do that when we was kids. So, and Dad always told me, he's like, oh, you can't drive a truck. And then I ended up doing it in hell. He did it for a couple of years, five years before uh, he passed away. So, I like it because, like I said, you get to see the country, you get to meet new people, meet people, and all that kind of stuff. That's awesome. So, I'm going to go ahead and show everybody around the truck. Is there any sp anything specific you would like them to know? No. Okay. <laughs> so the curtain that you see behind Adam, those go all the way around the window to the to the center. And then I have one on my side also. And so that's what we close at night to let everybody know that we're shut down. And then this is my spot. And as you can see, I have a really cool table. It took me like, how many tables did we buy, hun? Probably 10 different tables to find one that first fit perfectly i'm gonna have adam uh, open it up to show you guys how cool it fits there and the way he does that i'm just gonna show you up above here we have cabinets up here that we store stuff in and then we have this little area um <clears throat> those little blue bags mine's red his is blue that's where we keep our medicine and that's like a um, little cooler so that way we keep things at a good temperature um that bag that you see there is if we're ever in an accident he's required um by his employer to do a urine test right then and there because as you know truckers have to um, be clean to be on the road and they have a yearly exam or a three-year exam or every five years I, it just depends on what state and all those things and the regulations so and then he has a cubby there also and then we both have like this glove box right above our head and um, uh, I will show what we keep in all these little secret compartments in another video So you'll want to come back and check that out to see how Tetris works if you've ever played Tetris But there's my desk. Um, he didn't pull it all the way up. That's okay. That's like the angle. That's pretty good um, And I write and blog and that's where I put my iPad or my phone there and then I I write and stuff there. Um, the one thing about freight liners, as they're known as freight shakers, and so during certain times I can't type or write, so it's really hard to get between my health and um, roadways <laughs> to get just the right time to uh, write. And so a lot of times um, I'll do that while he's sleeping, because like right now we're getting on the road here shortly, and it is about 6 p.m. Central Time, I believe. So our day is just starting and sometimes that also makes you eat weird things because we just ate lunch instead of breakfast. Um, down here I like to have um, our infuser with essential oils to make it clean and smell good. But those are our cup holders too. So we have to like put that away to be able to get some drinks put in there. Um, Adam usually drinks the gallon waters because he drinks at least one a day, if not more. <clears throat> and then he uses them for the other thing that we all know truckers need to have on hand. <laughs> well, and speaking of that, this is mine. And we use cat litter in it. I know this is like a TMI thing, but mo you know, for other truckers that may not know this, um, you know, this is a really good option or a bucket with a lid. They sell lids that go on um, five gallon buckets. So that's something that we do um, because I do have my MS and it's really hard for me to get out. Um, you know, we have to have something for me in here. So then we have this big cupboard here and we keep mostly food items and cleaning items up in there and like i said i'm going to do another video on what's hiding behind the doors and then we have a little cupboard here and then this is the biggest closet right here and we keep most of our shower stuff and some good clothes in there in case we get to go to a church in some state or go out to dinner or something like that 
And then as you go around the corner here, this is usually my sleeping spot. If I'm here, I sleep on this side. And that bag back there, it has like little pockets. Um, you've probably gotten one of these before and thought, what do you use that for? Well, truckers, I'm gonna say, this is an amazing thing. I have it tied back there and I put my medications in there. And at night I put a little bottle of water right back in this little corner because there's no drink holders in this back of this semi in the sleeper. So I put my water back there and then I'm able to wake up and take my medications like I need to. <clears throat> the truck come with one light right here. So I added this one, um, but the batteries die in it very fast. So, and then this is what's called the AP unit. And when the truck isn't running, we can turn that on for our um, air or our heat. And um, this is the thing that you hear us most say that it's not working. It actually had to be worked on this week and it's very common for them to have issues. So um, it's pretty, pretty normal to hear AP units in trucking. And then the dials for me to have um, some control back here when I'm back here. And there's a button here that says, um, I don't want to hear what he's listening to up front, which barely ever happens. We're pretty um, good at stuff, but sometimes when he listens to sports news or whatever, I, I turn that off. Over here is like a vent window. And that's about what I get down here. But upstairs, when Adam sleeps upstairs, he has full glass windows that he can open up. That thing that you see right there is my seat belt. So it comes across the top of the bed and hooks in down here. So I have netting that goes across from this side to this side, and then I am safe. You're probably wondering what this belt is. <laughs> it kind of looks strange just hanging here, but when I'm laying down, I cannot get up because of my multiple sclerosis. So I use this belt to pull up on and be able to get up. And then we have over here, because the beds, um, this is a single, or a twin, sorry, a twin XL, and there's still this space over here. So that's my clothes and my bag of wires, and then we call that my office, and then this little thing right here is actually, um, we call it my office, but it's actually a toolkit from Menards, and I really like it because if I put it on the ground, it has um, some things underneath of it that uh, it doesn't hold, sit on the ground if we spill something in here like food or water or whatever. We do have a TV. I don't even know if we've even used it once. <laughs> we may have used it once. I bought a video game that connects to it just in case we wanted to play like old Atari type games and N N Super Nintendo and stuff. And we haven't used that at all. <laughs> um, and it was only like $15, so it was a good buy. So if we have the kids with us. Uh, we just got this brand new microwave. Um, Adam, no, <laughs> Adam didn't make no, sure really. <laughs> make sure it wasn't tied down and it fell out. So yeah, we just got that brand new microwave. And as you can see, I have to hide a few things like in little corners. Like it's very important to have stuff stuffed down so it doesn't fall while you're driving. And so you know, you can see that I have stuffed things here and there to make sure they don't. And again, I'll like show all the cubby holes and all that in another video. You can see that I use a bungee cord here to hold up the paper towels and then my tongs for when I'm cooking. And then that's our cooker and I keep it on something because it, it steams and it lets out liquid. If anybody knows where to get one of those um, micro, um, not, yeah, like rubber, uh, big mats like um, that's good with heat but also is like non-slip I would really love one for right there so that way I could just clean it so that's a pretty big deal as you can see that's um, sanit hand sanitizer we have like several bottles around the the truck and baby wipes and then we we use baby wipes on ourselves or like other items we use hand sanitizer like anytime we get out of the truck or you know obviously go into the bathroom or all that stuff but and then we use Clorox wipes as you see down there to wash our dishes and the microwave and anything in the truck like my desk or anything that we need to clean um, the purple bottle is a concoction of um, like essential oils and water and those kind of things so that we can clean up with it daily with lavender and that kind of stuff so that's a pretty cool thing 
And then we have this cupboard here. So it's just like the one on the other side. And those are both, like, like I said before, we keep most of our groceries and stuff in there, but I'm going to do a different video to show you that. So come back for that. And then we have this drawer here and it's pretty small inside. So there's not a whole lot that fits in there, but it fits perfect what we do have in there. And then our refrigerator and that's a big Tetris thing. So just to start off, that's the inside of our truck. Well, I've almost forgot Adam's little spot. So this thing here you see is, if I can get it, I might have to have Adam come get it. Uh, that's the thing is I can't get that. Can you come get that, babe? I'm gonna show him how that works. This is the ladder that helps you get up to the, um, the upstairs so see it folds out uh, what makes it really hard for both of us is it's hard for him to get up there um, the grandkids and kids love it so they can't wait to go in the truck because now we have the upper bunk so there's the upper bunk I, I would show you up there but Adam slept there last night and it's kind of dirty <laughs> but uh, at night I sometimes have to get up and I have to pull this up without like connecting it and um, so I can use the restroom or whatever and it makes it kind of hard for me and him because then I have to put it back down without his help and sometimes I don't get it all the way done. Um, quickly, you probably wondered what that little thing right there because you see the GPS, you see his phone and then you see that computer there around his butt. <laughs> that computer right there is what is called an e-log. Um, every trucker um, with what year, babe? A 2000 and newer has to have this system in their truck and this is the thing that says um, you can drive you have five hours you have 10 hours you have no hours park now and if it starts beeping at you you have to get you have to get parked because if you don't you can get um, penalized um, it's a violation and if you get pulled over or you go through a way station and you're in that it could be big fines so that's why I talk about um, getting some places and we have to stay and there's no restrooms and stuff because if his time runs out, then that's the way it is. Tonight, as you guys all know, I posted um, that we stayed at the Lincoln Memorial um, in Wyoming. And um, so that's where we were. So we had restrooms and stuff to run to you. So that's always nice. And we need to get on the road. So come back for the next video. Have a great day, everybody.